this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, it's fairly early in the morning here. I uh, just come and got the big trucks running. They're sitting outside warming up. They gotta bring uh, some more wheat to the Evelator again. So uh, it was gonna be Rob and Antoine trucking, but Rob's got a sore tummy this morning. <laughs> The poor guy. So, I told him that's all right. Fucking get better and later on when you're feeling a little better, let me know. So, I'm gonna bring the first load for sure anyways here with Antoine. And uh, <clears throat> that'll be most of my morning probably, but anyway, then I wanna come back in here and work. I gotta go to Mooseman, pick up some stuff that came for that guy again and so on and so forth, but I thought I'd show you here real quick the pin that came out of the bucket. That's uh, pretty well fucked, eh? That, this has all been uh, cut out here now already, but was the pin that went in there, so shows how war the fucking uh, bushing was getting. Well, you can see how wobbled out it is so years and years and years and years of use is what that is and like we were saying on the back ones there they only weld half of the bushing so it breaks out right away and then it sits in there and can move so oh well it'll be fixed up good here now dad got the uh backs of the arms done here yesterday Got that one all back into being a square again, so. So, she'll be good to go here pretty soon anyways, other than a coat of black paint, and I'm gonna get some stickers made for it, because you can't get them anymore, but that's the plan for this morning anyways. I uh, just finished welding on this. I'm gonna set it outside to cool off a little bit. That's the uh, joystick holder. Probably didn't need to weld all the way up and down, but whatever. <laughs> so that's my my welding there. You can see where I, I was starting and stopping and kind of going back and forth so I wouldn't do all the heat on one side and warp it all to shit. So I don't know. I think I've done a pretty good job. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to set that outside to cool off, and when I get back from that, taking that load of grain. We'll see what's going on then. So, I left before Antoine and he beat me here, so that shows how much faster the Freightliner is. <laughs> he passed me about seven miles from the elevator but uh, they are probing his load right now anyone who doesn't know what that is that big long where's my finger here that big long fucker there goes down in that's like a big vacuum and it sucks it in and it goes all the way to them at the elevator and then by the time you get there they've got your grade and your moisture and amount of dockage and what have you so I know some places do it by hand yet and some of the bigger places have a probe and some of the really big places have two so you just drive underneath of it here and see the light turn red and you wait for it to turn green before you can leave but there just kind of park halfway down and then they're usually happy so Anyway, talk to you again here in a bit. Well, back at the yard for round number two here. The, uh, it's quite windy out and it was uh, just warm enough yesterday for the snow to start melting, so it's icy and there's just enough of a bit of a hill there that 
the truck won't back up it. So I gotta start from the front and work my way back, but we're doing farmer loads on the trucks anyway, so it's hoop to hoop, front to back, so not a big deal. So anyway, gonna get another drag on and we'll talk to you here in a bit. Well, I'm back at the elevator again and just waiting in the lineup. I met Antoine quite a while ago. He was on his return trip, so. But I figured while I'm sitting here, I'd show you guys what uh, a scale ticket or what it looks like from the elevator, so. So there's dockage. That's how much foreign material was in it. That's not grain. Our moisture was 13.9 and 14 and a half is what's dry. Protein was 13.7, uh, 13.5 is what they want for a number one. So anything that's over, they pay extra for higher protein. So that's nice to see. Uh, we had 16.094 metric ton, 591 bushels. And there's our gross weight, 25,000 and uh, 16.2 was what we dumped so and it's uh number two wheat because of all that grain it was kind of a little bit bleached it wasn't a number one because of that but it's still better than a number three or a feed so anyway i thought i'd show you that right quick while we sit here and wait starting to fill now uh, now uh, he's already full and left the yard and I'm just getting to the yard so oh well what do you do eh that's everything the poor old international has got to give so <laughs> like that because there's kosher in here that's what fucking kosher seed does when it gets in like that it packs so it's not heated or tough or anything it's just that fucking kosher seed but i'm trying to remember that trick the millennial farmer uses i think he does something like this maybe whoa I think it worked. Let's go see. Hmm. The trick does work. That fucking filled her pretty fast. It did, especially when I used the Millennial Farmer's trick. All right, we're on our way back with load number three now. And you know, I've seen Zach use that trick before another way. I think I might just give it a try here and see how it works. It's a long drive back to that elevator, so I've seen him do this before too. We'll, uh, we'll try it out here, see if it works in Canada or not, or if it's only in America. Here we go. Holy crap! That works good, doesn't it, Pia? Well, that was a quick trip. Man, if you guys haven't tried that before, you're gonna have to start. That's how to get around, isn't it? Really quick. <laughs> anyway, we're back here again. Now it's about a mile away and seen three semis pull in ahead of me, so I guess we'll be waiting for a few minutes. At least they've got both 
pits going. Usually it's just the one side, so that's kind of nice. Well, yeah, I know he's a choo-choo train. Wow, eh? <laughs> anyway, I guess jump out here and roll the tarp open and let them probe me. <laughs> Antoine just left. I don't know if you can see him or not. Way over there. He's on his way back. He should just make it in time. He's got a hell of a good load on there. Hopefully the hoist on the old girl will lift it, but whatever. He knows how much it can hold, so if he overdone it, he'll be the one there to shovel it out. So <laughs> Anyway. I'm just gonna get the truck loaded up again here out of this bin. I should have enough here to fill the truck before the auger runs out and then I'll have to move the vac over to uh, fill the freight liner up when he gets home. Then we'll both have a load again for tomorrow, but. I'm a little bit off kilter here on this load, but. Too bad anyway, but anyway, I'm gonna get her loaded up and that'll probably be it for the day, I guess, like I said, until the other truck gets home, but that's where I'm gonna leave you guys, so I guess make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.